Okay, so we're ready to uh, cut in this uh, line here um, to uh, continue uh, the line of the wrist all the way down to the uh, side of the buttstock here. And what I've already done is um, I went and took my half round file here and, and better defined uh, this transition between the wrist area and the, uh, the comb of the stock. Um, it was a more shallow, gradual um, transition here, and what I did, I just made it more, more defined, um, so that this line would be more, um, more pronounced, I guess it would be. But anyway, um, so that's what I did. I just took the file here and uh, cut that back a little bit, and um, now I'm going to erase this line and, and put the line where I actually want it to go. So I'll put the camera down, I'll show you what I've done after I'm finished. Okay, so you can see the book here. Um, that line extends down to uh, uh, to the buttstock and it's pretty much parallel, or at least it looks to me to be parallel with the bottom edge of the, uh, of the uh, buttstock here. So uh, what I've done is um, I just did the same thing. I just continued that line down the line of the uh, wrist here and uh, left it pretty much um, parallel with the bottom of the stock and brought it back as far as I think it should go. Um, so now I'm gonna, gonna um, now that I have this line redrawn I'm going to go ahead and uh, commence carving it out. Okay so I'm just taking a uh, I think this is a one inch file or one inch uh, uh, chisel and I'm just going to chisel down that line. Just cut a chisel out a line on top of that line. Trying to keep as straight as I can. Okay, so um, I've got the uh, uh, line chiseled out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a gouge and um, uh, remove wood uh, from the side of the stock here. I'm going to start deeper here then, and then slowly, uh, gradually um, uh, level it out to the same uh, level as uh, this uh, portion of the stock here. So um, I'm going to put the camera down, start getting on, uh, working on it, and then I'll turn it on when I'm close to done. Okay, so you can see here that I uh, have the line uh, extending all the way down. And uh, what I did, um, I just took the uh, chisel here and um, chiseled away um, wood um, at an angle so that it's deeper here and gradually uh, uh, gets more shallower and shallower there. And after I did that with the uh, with the chisel, I just got a piece of some coarse sandpaper and um, just worked the wood uh, down to better define that line and uh, round it off a little bit so it looks a little bit more smoother. But you could see that line going all the way down. I think maybe I should have gone up a, just a little bit further but um, that's the way it looks now. Okay, so we're back. I went ahead and uh, sanded it down some more and finished it up. There's still a little bit touch-up work that I got to do. Um, but you can see here that um, the wrist now is a, a lot looks a lot slender uh, than it used to look. Um, and because I uh, redid this transition here, the wrist looks a little bit longer and, and uh, sleeker. Um, so this is the... Uh, the line that I just uh, ended up uh, carving out and um, it looks pretty good. Uh, I still need to do the other side but I won't film that. Um, but for now um, all of the stark stock uh, carving that I need to do for this thing is pretty much done and um, except for the other side and um, 
I guess that's it for this uh, episode of the uh, Brown Best Build Along. Anyway, uh, Cashtick Bowcraft, thanks for watching.